Can shoes be unflattering? Absolutely. Today I'm going to show you how to distinguish between shoes that are flattering and shoes that are unflattering. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome. My goal with my channel is to encourage you to conquer your style over 40. And so that's what all of my content is about. That's what all my videos are about. We talk about beauty. We talk about fashion. We talk about style. We talk about flattery. And today I'm really excited because this is a, uh, one of my favorite topics. We're going to talk about shoes. So if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you are interested in really getting practical and useful advice to improve your style over 40 and to make the whole just daily act that we have of getting dressed just make it a little bit easier so that's what I'm here for okay so we're talking about shoes today and I'm really really excited it's one of my favorite topics one of my favorite things to collect is one of my favorite of anything period and um, a lot of times uh, one of the things that I notice when, when people post outfit pictures and they're um, wondering why the outfit isn't working or why the outfit isn't coming together or why the outfit is not flattering one of the reasons is the choice of shoes so much of the time we think about shoes in terms of color or in terms of practicality in terms of comfort but we don't really think about how shoes affect the overall flattery of our outfit or how our outfit looks like how flattering the whole look is and there's such a key component to flattery so I'm going to show you how to determine whether your shoes are flattering and how to use that information when you're when you're getting dressed right so this is the thing I have every single one of these shoes I'm going to be showing them to you these are all from my own shoe collection so it's not that you can wear one shoe and you can't wear another shoe it's more just taking the entire outfit into account when you're getting dressed and for example if you know that you look beautiful in skinny jeans or you look beautiful in a fit and flare dress you can choose any shoe you want um, knowing that that outfit is already bringing the flattery into the look and so maybe you can have a little bit more fun on, and do something a little more funky with your footwear right but if you've got an outfit that that maybe is pushing the boundaries of being flattering for you and you're it's feeling a little off then adding the right flattering shoe can really make the overall look so much more flattering so you really just want to take the full outfit into account and there's no right or wrong way of of you know accessorizing with an outfit accessorizing shoes with an outfit but there are more flattering ways so we're just going to look at what can really lengthen your leg line and what does not lengthen your leg line really that's what it comes down to when we're talking about flattery if you're really comfortable with your with your body the way your body appears if you love your legs especially the lower half of your legs if you feel like your legs look long um, and you know you're not worried about flattery use, in, with shoes then it's gonna be less of an issue for you than someone who maybe feels like their legs are shorter or their legs aren't their best feature and they really want to create a nice long lean line so Either way, it's helpful to know that shoes kind of contribute to the overall flattery or unflattery of an outfit and how to make that distinction so you can make the choices for yourself, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is everybody knows that a nude shoe is flattering. And so I'm gonna show you examples. Again, these are all from my own wardrobe. So this is a nude pump. It's not exactly nude in terms of my skin color. It's a little, a little um, lighter than my skin tone, but still having this lighter nude colored pump is um, an instant way to elongate your legs. So nude over color is the first flattery rule I wanna share, footwear flattery rule. Choosing a nude when you wanna lengthen the leg line, when you, want to, when you want to look slimmer, when you wanna look longer and leaner and taller, a nude shoe will always do that a little bit more effectively than a shoe with a color so if I were to be wearing for example a midi dress which is kind of hard to pull off especially for me at 5'3 and I wanted to, to look longer and leaner and I wanted to be extra flattering I would choose a shoe like this over a shoe like this because this is going to lengthen my leg line and this is going to cut it off a little it, it creates a definite line at the bottom and that will visually kind of shorten your leg line, right? So nude over color is the first footwear flattery tip. Okay, the next flattery tip is pointy over blunt. Again, we're talking about creating a nice long lean line, right? So having a pointier toe is going to be more elongating than having a blunt toe. 
And this is the thing, right now in stores, there are so many unflattering shoes. Shoes that are not even, they're not even making, they're not even trying to make them flattering. Like they know that they're not flattering. They know that they're not cute. The whole ugly footwear trend that's kind of taken over the shoe industry in the last five years is still going strong. And there are shoes that are just clunky and chunky and like, you know, just unflattering to the foot, unflattering to the line that you're creating with your outfit, and just unflattering overall. So keep that in mind. Just because something is trendy doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be flattering or it's going to be beautiful. Um, eventually, our eye adjusts to the look of things not being flattering, but I see pictures all the time where I'm like, well, they're just, they just weren't even trying. They just weren't even trying. So the blunt shoes that are out in stores right now a lot of squared off toes a lot of um really you know like funky round toes or squared off toes that that create like a a a hard stop at the end of your leg line um they're just not going to be as flattering as something with a more elongated toe doesn't mean you have to go all pointy it can be a little bit of an almond toe it can just even be a moderate toe silhouette so i'm just going to show you a, a really quick option and I, I know you guys know what i don't actually even have a square but one one shoe just dropped i don't even have a square but this is a, a round toe pump and i love this round toe pump this is one of my favorites so it's mark jacobs it's from like yeah you know, a few i've had this for a few years and i just love it that said i know that this round toe pump is not going to elongate my leg line as much as this pointy toe pump will so if I want a longer leg line, I'm gonna choose pointy over round or squared off. Again, I really like the squared off styles that are in stores right now, but I'm going to, to choose them strategically based on the outfit um, and knowing what kind of effect they're gonna have on my leg line. So pointy over blunt is the second rule of, rule of footwear flattery. The next rule of footwear flattery is delicate over chunky. Okay, so there's a caveat here, and that's that if you have more delicate legs, you are probably going to feel like more delicate shoes are, are going to be more harmonious with the way that your, your bone structure is. If you have thicker bone structure, broader legs, if you've got more um, muscle in the lower half of your leg or you know your ankles are a little broader, then you may find that a delicate shoe kind of seems out of proportion. So you want to play with this. So delicate for one person is not necessarily delicate for someone else, right? So, but in general, delicate over chunky is going to be more flattering because a really big, thick, chunky shoe just kind of weighs down your look, brings the eye down, and it makes the whole um, bottom half of your outfit appear heavy. So um, this shoe isn't super chunky, but it's just an example that a similar category so we've got you know a, a more delicate just overall shoe here with the white one and a chunkier one with the silver one so i keep that in mind when i'm getting dressed so you know with a with a delicate shoe you have more options in terms of choosing kind of interesting silhouettes that may not may or may not otherwise be flattering because you know the shoe is going to bring that flattery but with a chunkier shoe you want to work the outfit around that chunky and funky shoe choice to make sure that the overall look is still really really flattering okay so delicate over chunky if you're looking for footwear oh the ultimate in footwear flattery okay the next tip is to go low vamp over high vamp so i'm going to bring out the same um, white mules here they are, and I've got another pair of white mules, and you can see that one covers the whole top of the foot, and the other has this nice V here that really elongates the foot. So when you're drawing a line across the top of your foot, the higher up on your foot it comes, the shorter your leg appears. So this is going to make my leg look shorter than this. I like them both, I wear them both, but I know that this is going to look a little bit uh, going to be a little bit harder to style and a little bit harder to make flattering than this one, which I wear all the time. And I will tell you, for some reason, whenever I don't have a, a I, I can't decide what shoes to wear with an outfit, these work like with pretty much everything. So I'm gonna link similar styles down below and I'm gonna link some some of my my picks for flattery and also some of the ones for not that are not as flattering so you can kind of see the comparison in the catalog that's in the description box below. But yes, the higher the vamp, the shorter the leg line. The lower the vamp, and this is the vamp, the vamp is the piece of leather that covers the top of your foot. The lower the vamp, the, the longer the leg line. 
Okay, so that's the next rule of, or the, the previous, the next rule of footwear flattery. Okay, the next rule I wanna talk about is strap versus no strap. So an ankle strap is always going to, again, you're creating a line, kind of a, like a high vamp shoe does, you're creating a line high up on the foot, which will shorten the leg line. And so when you're looking at really lengthening your legs, you're, you're trying to create that long lean line, you want to avoid creating um, a line around your ankle. So these, I love these um, wedges, but they have this dark kind of thick strap around the ankle. So that's going to be um, a detail that's going to kind of stop the eye at the ankle there. So I'm comfortable with my legs and my legs are relatively long for my 5'3 body, you know, body height. So I would, I would be comfortable doing something like this, but if I was looking to elongate my legs, I would choose this over this. So having, you know, again, this is dark, right? And it's got the ankle strap. This is nude colored and there's no ankle strap. So, you know, choosing strapless over ankle strap is one of the next rules or one, one of the rules of footwear flattery. The next rule of footwear flattery is choose a thin heel over a chunky heel. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples, again, all from my own wardrobe. And you don't have to wear heels at all, obviously. You can skip heels entirely and do just a nice almond-toed flat, and that will elongate your legs beautifully. But if you're looking at heels, um, obviously a thinner heel is gonna create a nice, long, elegant line, and a thick heel, in the same way that a chunky shoe will, kind of creates that blocky effect that really pulls everything down a little. So just something to keep in mind when you're looking at shoes. So I'm gonna show you, um, you know, a thinner heel, right? It doesn't have to be high, it doesn't have to be a stiletto, but a thinner heel is going to be more elongating than a thicker heel. Now, the worst offender when it comes to thicker heels is a thick and not so high heel, like my lovely and favorite silver mules. I know that these have that frump potential and you know, no one is saying that frumpy is a trend, but it is really like a lot of the shoes in stores right now are really kind of on the frumpy side and they have these really low heels and then the whole rest of the shoe just kind of looks a little bit matronly. Um, this is kind of a throwback style and I really like it, but I style them in a way so that I can counteract any frumpy vibes that they might be giving off. So a short chunky heel is gonna be probably the least flattering. A high chunky heel is a lot easier to wear. So if you're gonna do good, better, best, you've got best, better, and good. So, you know, looking at your leg line, looking at your overall outfit and choosing a shoe that's really going to be flattering is so, so key. And a lot of times we know that something's off with a look, but we don't know what it is. And that's why I'm giving you some of these suggestions, not to tell you that you can't wear chunky shoes or you can't wear flats or you can't wear square toes or you can't wear um, platforms, but just to let you know that every footwear style that you choose has an effect on your outfit and so you can decide how you want your outfit to look by accessorizing it well using your shoes so you know i love shoes i love all the styles all of these are from my own wardrobe but i always look at how i can round out an outfit flatter it make it look extra um extra pretty when i'm when i'm getting dressed and footwear is just a big part of that so i hope that you enjoy this i could do another video where i kind of show you what the shoes look like on i try on different styles with different outfits um whatever you want so let me know if this is something that you found helpful if you really liked hearing how shoes can either make an outfit more flattering or bring it down and make it a little less flattering. If you've got any other ideas, I'd love, love, love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. Um, as always, I just love hanging out with you guys here. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Also, the description box below the video, if you click on the title of the video, the description box will open up and it's got um, lots and lots of fun freebie things in there for you, including my Fashion Essentials Over 40 Wardrobe Guide. It's, a, it's like a multiple page guide where you can go through your closet and see if you have um, the key pieces that I think are really versatile to have in your wardrobe and it even breaks it down by decade. Um, I also have um, a, a mini styling course that you can take um, that's totally free. And of course I have my wonderful and beautiful Ageless Style program. It really is the happiest place 
to be on the internet. So check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!